Hey everybody, welcome back to a Denton County weather forecast and tonight what we're looking at is a chance for severe storms across North Texas which does include the threat for damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour, hail up the size of golf balls or even potentially higher, we've already seen reports higher than that just north of us and as well as the chance for a few tornadoes and everything you need to know in this forecast including what's out there right now which we do have some showers and storms in the Metroplex right now, are those going to be severe? What impacts will those have to us tonight and as well as what to expect over the next few hours, the future radar and everything you need you know in this forecast so let's get started obviously you know that or you should know at this point dfw in most of north texas is under a slight or marginal risk of severe weather and that yellow shaded region is under a slight risk in comparison to the green region which is under a marginal risk which is the lowest of the two um, obviously this would be primarily for that damaging wind large hail and a tornado or two uh threat and i think the primary primary area will likely be uh, right along the red river for any severe storms with that large to very very large hail, the damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour, and the tornadic threat uh, will will exist probably right between Wichita Falls and Sherman. That's probably going to be your main area, likely right in here. We'll probably see some sort of tornado threat. And it's going to be out of the initial cells, the discrete supercells that form right off the bat. Those are going to have the best chance of potentially having that tornado threat. So let's break down each category individually, and I'll show you the radar again real quick. Um, you can see that the site risk does include all good central portion of Oklahoma into North Texas. So that's something to keep in mind uh, for tonight. All right, let's look at the damaging wind threat. That would include basically anywhere from Bowie and off to the east. So um, Denton's included. Basically, most of DFW is included in this, um, as well as Sherman and going to Oklahoma. That's going to be your best chance for that damaging wind threat. The large hail threat does include, again, it includes most of DFW all the way over to Wichita Falls. One thing to keep in mind, though, with this is that you see this little brown shaded region inside the uh, yellow shaded region. That's basically a hatched area. And what this means is that there's a chance for two inches in diameter hail or greater, uh, about a 10 to 15 percent chance within the 25 mile radius basically just means that there could be very large hail in one or two of these cells that form in that area which could include the dfw metroplex so i have to watch that very closely um, especially this evening and pretty good chance that we'll see some sort of hail at least back off to the northwest all right latest on the tornado threat it does include anywhere from dallas and northward um, that's the primary area for this threat there, the green shaded regions your two percent chance within a 25 mile radius which usually means it's a very 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 low end risk uh, but it's pretty low risk in this area here it goes from just about oklahoma city down to the south closer to dallas um, this would pr probably be the best chance for any sort of tornado event and i think the best chance will be right along the red river again i've said it multiple times today in all my forecasts i think that's where we'll see a tornado and it, it's going to probably be brief and it's probably going to be weak but that'll be your best shot because we'll have the most shear in that region there um and let's go ahead and check, take a quick look at the radar as well i've not uh, really talked about that yet. We do have some showers and storms out there as of right now. We do have um, a good little line kind of formed here. It's mostly just showers and downpours, but there are a couple rumbles of thunder going on in there. No severe weather, but uh, there is a storm here near Plano. Not severe at this time, just maybe a little bit strong. Small hail, can't rule that out, but it's just mainly a little bit of rain for you. And then there's a little storm back off here to the northeast of that, closer to Leonard and um, just south of Bell. So this is kind of going off to the east, and it's going to continue to push off to the east, as we will start to see some storms develop um, over the next few hours and this is what i want you to keep in mind is that there is a severe thunderstorm watch now issued for the wichita falls region and oklahoma most of Oklahoma. I mean, the majority of Oklahoma is under a severe thunderstorm watch as well, but uh, Wichita Falls is included. North Texas will likely all get included in a severe thunderstorm watch sometime in the next couple of hours. Um, you can see that there is this one cell right here that has just formed, and this probably already has hail in it near Electra, and this is going to be going toward Wichita Falls here uh, pretty shortly. This is a strengthening storm just popped up about 10 minutes ago and uh, this is going over toward Burke Burnett and uh, this will move out to the east and that's kind of the primary area to see where those severe storms will form. Uh, there's also a little shower starting to develop here. It looks like just west of Bowie or just to the northwest of Bowie. Um, this one looks like it's just starting to fire up. I'm not sure if it'll turn into a storm yet or not but definitely has that potential tonight. We're going to see rapidly changing weather conditions over the next several hours so a lot to keep in mind tonight. Alright, let's go to the future radar and everything you need to know there and here's the latest radar scan. Didn't really do much. It's just a little downpour. It looks like for now uh let's go to the latest on the future radar and everything you need to know just give me one second to zoom this in and that is the temperatures so let's go to the future radar all right here's the future radar so obviously as of about five o'clock there's a little line of showers and you know there's downpours and whatnot it's not showing up great on this model but um you kind of get the picture there's that line right there six seven o'clock we'll start to probably see those storms trying to fire up near wichita falls right around seven o'clock you can see by eight those storms really start to kick in and those will probably have that chance especially out of the initial cells i'm telling you the initial cells have the best chance for severe weather large hail up to the size of hen eggs and as well as that chance 
transfer damage winds up to 60 to 70 miles per hour. Best chance out of those cells, and even that tornado threat as well could be possible out of those initial uh, super cells. And you see by 9 o'clock, a little bit of a line starts to form. And once this line really forms, we'll likely just see that damaging wind threat and maybe some large hail up to the size of maybe quarters as it approaches the Metroplex. Closer to 10 o'clock, you can see Denton County starts to get included in some potentially some storms by around then. And then 11, that line really starts to, you know, it kind of probably right about 12 o'clock. It really peaks at the strength of this line um, as it pushes off to the south and east. And you can see Dallas is probably going to get some storms right around then. Eventually by 1 o'clock, the DFW Metroplex does clear out and we'll start to see that line push off to the south. And eventually we'll have a pretty nice Thursday. It's going to look very nice. Temperatures right around the 60s tomorrow. Uh, temperatures right now right are in the mid 70s and they'll eventually drop tonight um, by about six seven in the morning tomorrow when you're waking up temperatures will be in the low 50s upper 40s maybe some mid 40s back off to the north you'll probably need a fleece jacket winds might be a little bit um gusty tomorrow morning all right let's go ahead and take the look real quick at what we're looking at for the overall severe weather real quick because this is something to keep in mind. So this is what I'm looking at right now. You might not have a clue what I'm looking at. It looks like just some blue and gray and whatnot. Uh, but this is actually the cap. And what I'm looking at here are the values. And you can see there's values of like 108 right now in Denton, 44 over Tarrant County. What does this all mean, though? Well, what this means is, and it's pretty accurate, to be honest, um, any dark blues, so you can see this one near Wichita Falls. Um, it's actually kind of off your screen, but there's a little dark blue up there. There's a little bit of dark blue in here. Those are the areas where the cap is now weakened enough to the point where storms can start to develop. And you might be wondering, why are there storms here then? That's a little bit different, but when I'm talking about the supercell storms, those are just showers and maybe a little strong storm mixed in there. Where the severe storms will likely form is these areas that are a bit more in the dark blue shading. And uh, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. There you go. Um, you can see that right in this area here near Wichita Falls, and that's where a storm is just developed. Uh, the cap is weakening enough, and when those values are below 30, that's when you know that there could be a chance for that development of severe storms. Just a fun fact if you didn't know um, too much about that sort of thing. All right, let's take a look at the tornado parameter, which is also very critical tool to figuring out where tornado could be possible. The best threat again for tonight will be right along the Red River. And uh, when I talk about that, and let me go and zoom out again, uh, the values are right around one to two in this area here. And that is definitely not where you really want them to be if you don't want a tornado. Uh, mainly due to the fact that if a value is at or above one, it usually has at least a low end to a low to moderate risk of potentially having a um, tornado threat. So this will be the area that has the best chance. It looks like buoy and northwards. This area here probably would have some sort of you know, it has more shear than the outlying areas, which means it has a better chance of potentially seeing a tornado. So that's going to be something to keep in mind. Again, it's a low end risk. Just keep it in mind tonight. Um, and obviously, just make sure you're prepared for it in case something does happen. Here's a tornado parameter and future radar. And you can see those values really shrink as those storms approach the Metroplex. Um, here's where that line would probably be right about here. And the values are much lower as that line approaches the Metroplex. And maybe those supercells that formed or come closer to DFW. The values really peak right around 8 o'clock. Uh, this would be kind of right around 8 or 7 o'clock or so. Values are between 1 to 2, which is kind of what it's showing right now. All right, make sure you stay updated with Denton County Weather for the latest. We'll keep you updated with the latest tonight. I will only be able to go live after... 7 30 8 o'clock most likely unless something happens well beforehand um i will not be in my room so i will not be able to really make a forecast then but anything about 7 30 to 8 o'clock or afterwards i'll be able to go live if needed um if there's any tornado warnings um also i will be posting updates if i can anywhere from about 6 to 8 o'clock and after that i will be updating obviously throughout the evening and overnight so uh, just make sure you stay updated with denton county weather for the latest and this forecast is brought to you by all dense repair